We are in our second interview. A very warm welcome again to all of you watching. Welcome, Wilhelm Schmidt, uh, the CEO of Lange und Söhne. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you. We are going to talk about some explicit content, actually, and it's <laughs> so explicit that you have been uh, giving out some uh, caps. Yes. So um, it's dangerous content. Uh, what does it say? Horological <laughs> advisory, explicit complication. That's right. Wilhelm, um, And there is a little mark on it uh, with a S3 symbol yes, here. Yes. And this S3 stands for? Well, it's the highlight of this year's uh, um, novelty tour, which is, um, and it's actually only for friends. You don't, don't think you, there are about a hundred done and that's it. So okay. that, that will become so, a collector's piece in okay, itself. So, so my team should get one. Okay. They, <laughs> they I have to one. fight for it. They have yeah, to okay. fight no, for if, it. If he's filming well, he gets one. Okay, <laughs> okay we'll Good. see. Uh, no, it's it's this year is the year of the triple split for yeah, us. Yeah. Um, for, for for those that don't know what it is, you know. It's, yeah, yeah, this will be my my, in, my, my question. Okay. Um, in, in, in uh, you're introducing the watch with a, with a scenery um, of an of a marathon, uh, a guy yes. running his marathon and using yes. the watch. I was wondering uh, when ever will anyone use an Alange und Söhne triple split? Yeah. Sold for small amount of money of course yeah. used for a marathon yeah look i mean it's the, the, the watch is tested properly um so i think the, the watch will do it easily but i'm not sure whether anybody ever is going to do it no but you wanted um, to explain the functions the functions you know a, a, a chronograph a normal chronograph can just measure one time yeah. at a time and if it's a bit sophisticated then you have a flyback function which means without zeroing it, it goes back and starts again. So that's a normal chronograph. Yeah. Then the next level is the rattrapon, yeah. which means you can do two times simultaneously, but only up to a minute. Yeah. Because you know it Then means that one hand goes out of the other hand, yeah. but the moment you, you go above a minute, there is nothing to count the minute. So obviously it's you good mean, for short term. It. You can guess it. And then 2004, we introduced a double split, yes. uh, which can actually measure these two simultaneous times up to 30 minutes um, and and a triple split obviously is the next evolution um, I'm not sure whether it's we don't tend to, 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 to make superlatives but actually it's probably the most complicated chronograph on the planet because nobody doubled the double split and now the triple split will do the same up to 12 hours yeah. so you'll have um, a second hand out of the center that splits You have a minute counter out of the dial in the, in the right hand side that splits and you have an hour counter up to 12 hours that splits as well on top and of it. you can read all the... And you can, yeah, you can read them easily actually. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you, I say, you, you, you stop and you can take yes. these intermediate times and read them. Absolutely. Yeah. Permanently over a period of 12 hours. That's, That's truly a world's first. It is a world's first. I don't. I have never. I have not seen such a world. No, we didn't. You know, I mean, the double split, yeah. as I said, has never been copied. Yeah. Um, so we are now two steps ahead of uh, what's possible with uh, chronographs. Thinking about some collectors that might say now, um, double split. They have made a triple split. Are you going to stop the double split, maybe? Or we we definitely you do? will. Yes, because so, um, okay, guys, go go and buy it. Go, this is yeah, an, the next watch that will be very <laughs> expensive in the future. <laughs> to, to, to be honest, it'll be very difficult to find one because uh, we only produce them ever in quite small numbers. Um, simple or re simple reason for it is, if you ask our watchmakers, and we have good watchmakers, mm. as you all know. Um, and, and, and give them the choice between, let's say, a tourbillon or a double split. You know, talking about complexity, they would go to the tourbillon and not to the double split. Yeah, um, because it's a nightmare. And a triple split it's doesn't make it much easier. Yeah. So, you know, just from a from a capacity point of view, there is a natural limit to so the number of watches. So if you want to produce watches. your triple splits, you need to stop the it's double the splits. Same, it's the same people, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, and that's the misunderstanding. A lot of people think the Tumio is the most complicated watch or, a, or a, let's say, a perpetual calendar. But yeah. uh, the, real, the real, let's say, elite goes into chronographs. And well, it's always, you know, there are many things. <clears throat> There's an easy picture. It's the big three, which is a minute repeater, a tourbillon and a perpetual calendar. That's, that's deemed to be the big complications. Yeah. Um, And then the combination of all of it. But to be honest, the fusion chain, uh, yeah, a yeah. chronograph, rattrapon, you know, there are tiny little things that go from an horological point of view, they yeah. actually go beyond that. Yeah, yeah. They are so sophisticated that very few actually can yeah. construct or build it later on. Yeah. Um, so it is just fair to put them onto the same level. I wouldn't put them over and above 
because you know there's a good reason for the, the perpetual calendars and the minute repeater and the yeah. grands honorees to be yeah. what they are and to get the recognition what they what they get today. But there are other things, and this is more for the watch nerds really, for people that really understand fine watch. And, and the watch is quite they will appreciate. Yeah, it's quite understated anyway. We can have a look here. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, um, we will have we will have we will film it afterwards talking about chronographs um, yeah <clears throat> let's go back in the very beginnings of uh, the rebirth of uh, yes. uh, Lange and Söhne with uh, of course a man who unfortunately had to leave us last yes. year Walter Lange you have been um, doing or manufacturing or realizing a complication that Walter Lange always thought about and nobody wanted to do it <laughs> yeah that's, that's <laughs> very true <laughs> so actually, I, in a way it's a sad story that we do it now that he, uh, that he, uh, that he left us I'm sure um, he's proud now I'm pretty sure just I'll just in a few words uh, this is a, a very simple chronograph it's let's say something ahead of all chronographs it was an idea how you could uh, sort of uh, the predecessor of yeah, a chronograph yeah. you can't zero it so it is you not do. really like it but you can stop the jumping second yeah. and you can start it again so but you, you do can't go it doesn't go back to zero yeah it's a, a start button the watch starts yes. to uh, the, the, the minute hand starts to jump second yes. by second you can stop it you can yes. read the seconds and only then you can restart restart it. yes this is something Walter Lange I uh, always wanted to have. Yeah. Now you have it in a in a limited in a very special limitation. Yes. Anyway, can you can you give me an information about the limitations? And then there is one, one unique piece. Yes. That will be auctioned, and I want to talk about that special piece. It's you know people need to understand that if you have only nine months to develop a complete new movement, a complete new watch, just to honor the founder of your company. Um, even for us, and I think we, we're very quick in developing, even for us that was a huge stretch. Mm -hmm. um, and I really remember as we came back from SIHH last year, uh, the idea between Tina Tony and myself came up, you know, we have to do something special for him. I was under the impression it's more an easy thing. And then Tony came up and said, look, we always bothered us. You have to do the jumping second like Emil Langer did in the 18th century. And we said, commercially that's suicidal doesn't make sense so you can't build it in big numbers it's very difficult to build and he said and that's what we want to do that's why it is so limited you know to honor 260 okay. watches we have to that's say it. timo bobe is your head of production production yes. and tony de haas, tony de haas is, head, is of, head of development yeah so all the people know oh, okay sorry <laughs> it's inside <laughs> yeah 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 you're right you're okay. right you're right okay so and then you realize the watch Uh, it's now uh, people. You can read the story about the watch. It's yes, on the, it's on the blog. No, it's for the watch advisor yes. listeners. In this case, you can read the story. Yes, and so there are three watches in gold. Yes, and there's one in steel. Yeah. The and limitations it, and it comes in special. funny limitations yeah. in a way because again everything is geared up to really Walter Lange, Walter Lange. You know, and, and as he sadly passed away, the company was running for 27 years. Um, he was a big fan of yellow gold, so the first limitation for us was clear 27 watches and, and yellow gold. And as he founded the company, it was 1990, for all Germans, that's a very, very special uh, year. Yeah. So he said, we'll make 90 pink gold, and because as he founded it, his grand-grandfather founded it 140 years, 45 years before, so we said 145 white gold version, and because that's such a unique story, We came up with one unique piece, which is For stainless the, uh, steel and a black enamel dial. Um, wow. And where the other three you can buy. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. You, are, they, are they already, uh, do you already sell them? No, they will only come. But you have pre-orders, I think. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we only launched it now, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that by probably two o'clock. No, the information was out. Uh, yeah, but only what? for you guys. Ah, uh, true. So not for, true. there was not no public prize, yeah, nothing. Yeah. Uh, but I'm pretty sure by lunch break, uh, you know, these watches yeah. are, okay. have a name. Okay. There is one exception. The number um, one. For the number one. Walter for Lange. the number one, for the Walter Lange watch. You know, that, that name is not known yet because we'll have an auction. Mm. Um, all the proceedings will go to charity because the other thing which Mr. Lange was always uh, keen about, is to support children, specifically children that have you know, a more difficult life than, than the two of us. Um, so he was always insisting and make sure there is enough for the next generation. Mm -hmm. And that's why he decided that specific watch, that one watch will go on auction. Um, 
all the proceedings will go to a charity auction, uh, to a charity organization. Um, and it, it's one that is actually targeting children and support children across the world. Does the organization have a name? Children Action. Children uh, Action. Yes. It's a foundation? Um, it's a foundation. And, and, and what I really, really liked a lot is every single cent will go to the children. Because the so whole takes over yes. the overheads, all the, the overhead, administration, overhead all costs, costs are, are, are settled by the founder of that oh, organization. Very generous. Yes, and I think that's a good reason to support so that organization. So everything that is raised will go to the children. Ooh, every single cent. That's great. Yeah, it's very good. I think Walter would have liked that. I hope very so. Much. I hope so. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. He, I think he would be proud. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We're drinking, by the way, Roy Bush. Tea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a, sto a little story. Also, um, Wilhelm uh, used to live and work in South Africa before yes. he came. Yes. Uh, True. To, and <laughs> you are very big fan of South Africa. I am. I'm just back from South Africa. Yeah, actually, you, you passed your, your <laughs> winter holidays uh, there. I always do. Yeah, Christmas yeah. and New Year. Yeah, Roy Bush, uh, of course, is uh, yeah. It's a and signature, it's good. You can drink a tea out cold, warm, yeah, and yeah. hot. So you know, I can drink that all day long without yeah. getting irritated. To finish our little chat, um, how you, would you see the, the industry uh, in 2018? Um, everything looks good. I have not heard uh, anything really scary, scaring me. I have not seen uh, sad faces, people smiling. You think it will? Look, it's, uh, it's probably a bit early because you have yeah, Monday course. morning yeah. um, and, and you're actually my first interview. So, Thank you very um, much. Which, which means it's a bit early for me. I always say that a good SIH age is usually followed by a good year. Okay. Um, by then I'll pass by on first year to ask you. I tell you what, I think tonight when we have the first beer yeah, after yeah, cocktail, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that I have a good idea of uh, how the general mood is. I will ask you, yeah. With it's another big tradition on the Lange Booth. They uh, starting at six o'clock yes. in the evening. They serve Radeberger beer. That's a local beer. <laughs> we bring it from Germany. Germany, yes. That's yes, not a joke. yes. We, yeah. we, I passed through the Radeberger brewery last year on the Saxon Classic. Yes, and it was funny. We had to stop there. <laughs> Look, it's, uh, it's it's. I mean, we also offer champagne, as you yeah. can imagine. Ah, um, but everybody's offering champagne. To my knowledge, we are the only ones where you can get a decent, yeah. cold, proper German beer. Okay. Final words, proper beer, that's good. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. So let's hope uh, what would you estimate? What are you estimating for the for the uh, for the lange one? Uh, for the for the one single lange Walter Lange watch. What what would you hope that the watch? We discussed for? we discussed that actually with uh, with uh, the man who is going to yeah. auction it and he advised us to not say anything. The watch will go with okay. no limit and no estimate. Okay. Um, but I'm pretty sure it'll be probably the most expensive Langer watch ever on auction. Okay. This is a wonderful last word. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Stay tuned. Many more interviews are coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.